Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new type of video for this channel. I've never made this type of video before. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a set two booster box of Star Wars Unlimited. So as the video goes, I'll explain a little bit to the channel and to new viewers um, what this game is, how I got into it, and most importantly, how the unboxing is going to work. Uh, so it'll start with a little bit of a voiceover, and then I'll just probably zone out, play some music, and let you guys watch the unboxing as it unfolds. Um, on the side of the screen here, or maybe here, I don't know yet, uh, there's going to be two numbers. So there's going to be the price that I bought the box at, and then there's going to be a value price, which as I go through these cards, certain ones, I'm going to ignore commons and uncommons, but certain cards I'm going to highlight if they have a current value as of recording this video above $2, so $2 or greater. And when that happens, you're gonna hear this sound. I like money. And then that number of the card's price value is going to appear there. And then at the end of this video, we'll be able to see, essentially, did I make my money off of value for what I paid for the box? So I've never made this type of video before. I'm really excited. I'm really enjoying getting into this game. And I hope you guys like the video. So let me know in the comments how I did, format-wise, technical-wise, just if you enjoyed the video, any uh, advice you would give. Um, and yeah, I hope you like it. Hope you stick around to the channel. And without further ado, let's go into the unboxing. All right, guys. So originally, I actually recorded my audio live while I was doing this unboxing. Unfortunately, the audio for the recording got corrupted, so I'm recording a voiceover instead over this footage. So if what I'm saying doesn't really match up with what you see on screen or my hands moving around, that's the reason why. All right, but I'm going to join you for the first couple packs here just to give a little explanation of the game for newcomers and of this unboxing in general. So the contents of the packs. When you open a pack, you're always going to start with a leader. Now, for those who haven't played the game, the leader is kind of the center point of your deck. It's who you build your deck around based on their aspects. Then, you're always going to pull a base. Now, the base is the second pinpoint for your deck, and so every deck is going to be built around one leader and one base. Once you open those two, then you move on to the commons. So every booster pack has 16 cards. The first two are going to be your leader and base. And then the majority of the pack is going to be commons. So for this first pack here, in fact, the first couple packs, I'm going to go a little more slowly. Um, you can see here, again, for newcomers, I'm kind of dividing the cards by their aspect. Now, the aspect is that little colorful icon you can see on the cards. It might be green, black, red, blue, white, or yellow. And those all kind of signify different play styles for those who are familiar with the game or looking to get familiar. Um, but yeah, so you're going to start off by opening some commons. Then you're going to make your way towards the uncommons. There's a couple of those in the pack. And then for most collectors, for most players of the game, you're kind of looking at those final two to three cards. So in a standard pack, the final two cards, the second to last card is going to typically be your rare. So based on the card rankings, you have commons, uncommons, rares, uh, and legendaries. That's, that's uh, the distribution you can, you can find for card rarity. So most people are going to be looking at that second to last card uh, because that's going to be your rare. Now, sometimes it can actually be a legendary instead. That's what you're really hoping for. Other times you can actually get a double rare or you could even get a rare and a legendary. You're going to see combinations of those. Uh, you're going to see every one of those combinations in this video. And then finally, the final card is going to be some type of foil card. Now, it could just be a regular foil. It could be a hyperspace foil. So on screen right now, you're actually seeing the first hyperspace that I pulled. Hyperspace in Star Wars Unlimited, it just means borderless. So it's borderless art. They look really cool. This particular one, this is not the foil. So every now and again, you'll just happen to pull a hyperspace in your pack. Now right here, this is where we see the rare. And then I'm going to flip that over and pull my first foil. I like money. 
And on this first pack, we actually got a really good pull. So we got Heroic Resolve, Hyperspace Foil. This card happens to be worth eighteen seventy seven at the time of recording. So you're going to see that flash on screen. You're also going to see that counter in the bottom right corner so that we can keep track of this box's value. Um, but yeah, that final card, it's always going to be a foil, but it's not always going to be a hyperspace foil like you see here. It could be it could be a hyperspace foil. It could be just a foil. Um, and it also is not a guaranteed, uh, you know, high rarity card. So that final card, it doesn't need to be a rare or a legendary or anything like that. You could easily just pull a common foil and that might be worth, you know, 50 cents. So just because it's foil doesn't mean it's going to be high value. Otherwise, every pack you open would be high value. So over the course of this video, uh, I'm going to you know, I'm going to show every card that I open, but I'm going to kind of brush the commons and uncommons aside, and we're going to really focus on the rares, any legendaries, and then any hyperspaces and foils. So those are kind of the key elements we're going to search for, and those are the key cards we're going to search values for. And then at the top of the screen, I'm going to put my, I'm going to kind of separate those out into final uh, card of the pack, and then the rares, and then any like hyperspace cards will go on the right there. And again, as we go, I'm going to keep track in the bottom right corner of the total value of what we're pulling. So I'll go ahead and stick with you for maybe one more pack, and then I'll just let this voiceover die down, throw on some music, and let you enjoy some good, uh, you know, some good pack cracking footage. Um, so here we're getting towards the latter half of the pack. So we're getting towards our uncommons, our rares, and like we'll see what we pull. So here's another good pull worth, uh, worth a little bit, a couple bucks here. Any card that I track the value for is going to be, uh, either $2 or more. And I'm basically doing that based on what I see in the professor's videos for Magic the Gathering. He explains why he does it. I like why he does it. So I'm just going to kind of adopt that method and give credit to him for that. Um, but that's that's kind of what I'm going for here. So, all right, guys, that's what you can expect. Uh, as the video goes, I'm going to go through these packs a little more quickly. I really hope you enjoy. I enjoyed making this. Uh, for a long time, my channel only covered video games. I want to start covering some card games and board games, uh, a lot of Let's Play footage like that. So I also have another box coming in the mail, and I'd love to make a second unboxing video. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, you should definitely consider subscribing. Um, and yeah, welcome, welcome to the video and hopefully welcome to the channel. All right, I'll leave you guys to it and I'll see you at the end of the video.
I like money.
I like money. I like money. like money. Money.
like money. All right, so there you go. That is the unboxing. As you can see, we actually not only made our money's worth on the box, but we did a little bit extra. So that was really fun. I got some great pulls. Like I said uh, in the voiceover, I don't care too much about making my money on, on this. I don't really plan on selling the cards. Um, but it is cool to keep track of that. And uh, what's important is I, I really am enjoying getting into this game. It's fun to crack some packs. And uh, I hope you guys had some fun watching. So as a little bonus, if you stuck around to the very end of this video, I was going to show one card that I did not pull in this box. I actually pulled it in a pre-release box during a pre-release tournament. Um, and it is, I believe, other than showcase cards at the moment, the most valuable card you could pull in this set. And I pulled it in my pre-release. And that is this here. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you. So that is the Hyperspace Foil Crate Dragon. Um, currently at the time of recording, I think this is selling for like 110 to 120. Um, so this alone, this card right here, is basically enough to make your monies back on an entire box if you were to pull it. But um, yeah, I was really happy to pull this and figured I'd show it to those of you who stuck around for the whole video. Uh, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did like this video, subscribe, stick around. I'm hoping to bring you not only a lot of Star Wars Unlimited content, but I'm going to start doing some Let's Play board game content as well and just kind of bring the channel in a brand new direction, hopefully. So hope you enjoyed. I had fun and um, I got another box on the way. So I will hopefully see you for the second unboxing. All right, take care.